Come on. Let's finish this. What's up, Nero Nation? It's your boy Nero back at it with another Black Clover video, man. Yes, we're about to get into it, man. But before we do, make sure you guys subscribe. It's crazy. Only 46% of y'all subscribe. What the rest of y'all waiting for, man? What you waiting for? Have I not proved myself? Have I not proved myself? Are you not entertained? Yo, go ahead and go ahead and subscribe, man. But I also want to let you guys know I will be going live later tonight on Twitch, you know what I'm saying, to watch the Black Clover anime. I want to say we're at episode 12. Shout out to everyone who showed up so far. But make sure you guys join the Twitch, man. It, it, hey, it's a blast. It's a blast. With that being said, let's get into this Black Clover video. So we didn't get much from the Witch Queen in this arc so far. And I feel like, yo, she needs some redemption. And it doesn't necessarily have to be the Witch Queen we know. It can be the new Witch Queen. And I'm talking about Dorothy. I want something to happen in the series where, you know, the battle's going on. People are fighting the paladins, the angels. You got Asta and you got, you know, they're pretty much occupied with Lucius trying to take him down, the big main threat. But you got the Black Bull members where they're not able to help every single person. Like, yo, it's only a small number of them and there's so many people that need protecting. And that's when you can have Dorothy show up. Yes, man, I want Dorothy to have a, a moment to redeem herself, not just her as a captain, but her as the witch queen. She needs a moment to redeem herself because every since, I hate to say this, every since she got defeated by Morris off screen, it's just, I just, I've been disappointed in her character. So I want her to show up. I want her to have an amazing moment. And I want her to also have the marks that the witch queen have under her eyes. I want her to have those on her eyes because she too, she is now the new witch queen. And I want her to have a moment where she looks at Vanessa and Vanessa like, you know, has a tear going down her face because she knows her mom is gone. The witch queen is no longer among the living. Or if you guys want her to be alive, that's on oh, that's on y'all. But I feel like it would be even better for Vanessa character as well as Dorothy character if she actually went away and she bestowed the power of the witch queen upon Dorothy and Dorothy herself is a lot stronger than she used to be now I know some of y'all probably gonna be like well if she bestowed all this power on Dorothy where was this power with the witch queen and you could have it where since the witch queen lived far beyond her time limit you know far beyond what normal people live past she had to use that energy to sustain her life so that she could be alive for so many generations so many decades so for her she wasn't able to utilize the full potential of the witch queen powers because she was focusing on keeping herself alive for the next generation and the next generation with dorothy she's her normal age so she doesn't have to focus that power on keeping herself alive so she's able to utilize the full potential of being the witch queen and i wanted to be where you got the golems coming in like yo she got them attacking angels and and paladins she got them going all in you just got everyone in the clover kingdom looking like yo what and then you just got uh dorothy just like standing there looking badass because i always thought dorothy eyes were dope as hell and you could just have her just standing there badass like yo March! You just got the golems and other witches that come in. They're seeking revenge because they lost their former queen. They all want vengeance for that. They're all going in. They're all willing to risk their life. But at the same time, I want Dorothy to be powerful enough where she can keep her her witches, not only the witches, but people from the Clover Kingdom from dying. And I thought of some dope powers for her to have. And you guys can let me know if y'all rock with it or not. If y'all don't, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Your boy tried. I be trying, man. I be using my imagination. Plus, I was at work bored as hell yesterday. But, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But, yo, first thing on the list for her powers, man, um, I want her to be able to trap people in their minds. Like, I want her to be able to look at certain people and they, they're trapped in a dream world within their own mind where their body is still in the, in the real world, but their mind is gone. It's just trapped in the dream world as opposed to how she trapping the physical, the whole body. Now she's just trapping them mentally. And I feel like that would be dope. You just got a bunch of uh, angels and paladins just standing there like zombies where anyone could just walk up to them and take them out because they're not aware of what their physical body is actually doing. I think that would be dope as hell on some like Charles Xavier talk type shit like doo -doo 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 -doo. Hey, yo, you can't say you don't rock with that. I really like that one. I really like it. But let me know y'all thoughts on that. You guys can also let me know what powers you think that, you know, what new ways she should be able to use her powers down below in the comment section. You guys are very creative and I know you guys about to cook, man. But I'm gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna keep it moving, man. I want it to be where Dorothy herself can bring things from her dream world. Anything she can think of and create in her dream world, she can bring it to the real world where it can be utilized. 
I think this is something she should have always been able to do. And I feel like now that she's the witch queen, she definitely needs to be able to do this. Can you imagine like certain characters fighting and you know, they're struggling against an angel or a paladin. And next thing you know, you got like a dream portal open and like a magical weapon falls down in the person's hand. Like imagine like a, 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 a limited edition. I said limited edition, I'm tripping. But imagine like a, a legendary bat comes out of a portal and lands in Magna hand. And you got Dorothy saying like, yo, this is the bat of such and such. I imagine in my dream world so it is real use it to your heart content and like magnus like doing attacks and stuff on the level of a like of a, of a wizard king on the level of a captain because he has that magic item from her dream world like yo imagine her just giving different weapons to different characters you know what i'm saying i think that would be op as hell shoot you can even have it where she's like uh thinking of like healing angels or healing you know creatures coming out of the coming out of her dream world going up to people that's near death and healing them and bringing them back because in her dream world whatever she thinks of becomes reality so if you make it where she can open portals to her dream world where her stuff where her dreams could come out and actually do things to the physical the living outside in the real world i just think that would be epic as hell a little broken a little broken but damn it she's the witch queen and she deserves to have some amazing powers man you guys can let me know how y'all feel about it the last thing I think would be really dope for her character to do, she does use dream magic. I think it would be amazing if she could go up to her opponents and make their worst nightmare come to reality. Like their worst thoughts, their worst fears appear right before them and they have to fight them. Like let's, like, let's just say Aesir while she's fighting the well, her worst fear comes back and it turns out to be Majikla because that was her worst fear. That was the moment that actually killed her when she had her normal body. Like Majikla appears in front of her and starts attacking her and fighting her. I think it would be dope as hell. Similar to like the boogeyman that we got in the land of the rising sun, but I feel like that would be very amazing for Dorothy's character. I just want her to really have a standout moment as the witch queen. And I just want her to be like, just stand forth and, and I want some witches like in the background to be like, yo, she she's the strongest witch throughout all time. And you can have Dorothy over here and then you can have a moment where she's like, well, there is still one witch that could become even greater than me. And you can have her look at Vanessa, but continue to fight. I just feel like that would be a dope ass way to close like Vanessa's journey, as well as Dorothy giving her some character development, letting her be relevant to the story Story, giving her some like comeback because of her defeat with Mo Morris man why Morris I just don't get it and also at the same time give us more clarity on why the witch queen herself wasn't able to fight and do more powerful spells because she was using that magic to sustain her life and she couldn't waste it if she didn't need to which would explain why she had Oz to fight for in the force witch force arc that we had that we had earlier in the series and so on and so on it, it would explain why she never really got involved in vital and battles because she had to focus her energy on herself and when it comes to Dorothy she's already a youthful girl she's in her late 20s if I'm not mistaken so she's able to utilize the witch queen power to its full extent I would love to see something like that go down with her character and hopefully we get that I mean Tabata's cooking right now so anything is possible let me know what y'all think about this theory of mine, this prediction. Would you like to see Dorothy have some time to shine or do you like, nah, man, she messed up too much. She can't be forgiven. Move on to the next. She lost the Morris. And man, if you guys say that, I can understand you. I can definitely understand you. But let me know y'all thoughts on this, man, in the comment section below. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I got more Black Clover content coming to you guys. So make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell for all notifications. Again, I will be live on Twitch tonight watching some black clover anime man like i said episode 12 i believe we had might be 12 or 13 whatever the case may be we're definitely watching it so make sure you subscribe to my twitch channel as well also hoping you guys have a great day tonight wherever you are this your boy nero mega man signing out peace